Hi, in this video I will show you a very interesting feature in Microsoft Excel, which is the slicers. Slicers act like filters, but it will make your Excel sheet more dynamic and looks like a dashboard. And now let's go and see how we can do that. So I have this table for some shop items, as you can see on the first column, and they are categorized based on the type, on the source and the supplier for these items. And let's say that I want to filter these items based on one of these criteria. Like for example, I just want to see the local sourced uh, items or the imported items. So what I can do is to select my data and format it as a table. And choosing that my table has headers. So the traditional way to do that is to go for example to source and select just the local items okay it will show me the local items and although it's very useful to use the filters but sometimes if I want to drill down very deep in my data it will take more effort and time than having slicers or what we can call as a dynamic dashboard to filter my items so let me unfilter these items how can I insert the slicers first of all I will select the table then here in the table design I have something called insert slicer so as you can see the definition of it use a slicer to filter data visually slicers make it faster and easier to filter tables pivot tables pivot charts and cube functions so I will press on it now it will ask me which items I want slicers for so I want the slicers for the type, for the source, and for the supplier. And I press OK. So as you can see now, I have these three slicers. First of all, I will adjust the sizes of them and remove the unwanted white space. And now I will put them here. So now simply, let's say that I want just the local items. I will press on local in the source and it will filter the local items. And I want from the local items, just the items that are fruit. So I press on fruit. Now I can see the local items that are fruit. And also I want just the items from the supplier A. So I'll press company A. As you can see, I just have the apple, which is fruit, local, and from company A. Now if I want to remove these filters, I, I press on this here, clear filter for each one of them. And let's say that I want to see more than one type here. So for example, I want the fruit and the vegetables. So if I press on fruit, it will select the fruit. Then if I press on vegetables, you can see that fruit is unselected. So how I can select more than one option per a slicer? So first I will choose fruit. Then after choosing the first item, here you can see this small icon multi select. So I'll press on it. Now it's enabled and I will press on vegetables. Now you can see that it filtered the fruit and vegetables for me. So this is a very easy and dynamic way to filter your data very quickly and in a visualistic way. Also you can design your slicers. So for example here the source slicer is selected. You can see that we can use different styles. So for example I can choose this color for the slicer green for the type I can choose yellow and for the supplier I can choose the orange now as you can see they are designed colorful and look better if you notice here Y company C and company Y are disabled from being selected so let's go back to what I chose so I chose fruit and vegetable here so I have fruit and vegetable. 
for the fruit and vegetable both local and imported sources are present so here local and imported are available to choose but if I go into suppliers I can see that the suppliers are companies A, B and X so I don't have items from companies C and Y for the fruits and vegetables that's why I cannot drill down into company C and company Y otherwise I will not see anything and that's why they were grayed now back to the design of the slicer so if I select one slicer and go to slicer here other than the colors I can for example do the normal arranging like bringing forward or backward aligning I can also make the buttons bigger or smaller so let's see for example if I make the width of the buttons bigger you can see that each button will be with wider width same for height I can make the height of each button bigger now I can't see all the options so in this case I have to make it bigger to see all the options so in terms of the size of the slicer and the size of the buttons I can always adjust it I can also make the buttons in two different columns rather than one for example so you can see the options are put in two columns I can make it three four depending on my options and how I want the buttons to be fit on my screen I can adjust it in different ways now two columns look better for this case and in this video you saw how you can use slicers to filter your data in a very efficient and quick way if you found this video helpful subscribe to my channel like this video and share it with your friends